Now, I would have to say I was a little surprised when Mississippi State fired Joe Moorhead. Uh, he kind of had heard some rumblings, especially with the Rutgers head opening and the Boston College job being open, that Joe Moorhead's name kept getting floated for those openings. And there was some talk that, hey, maybe he doesn't feel like he's totally comfortable down there. Uh, there's some maybe a little heat on him. Uh, so I was a bit su- I, I wasn't totally shocked, but I was a bit surprised when he was let go. And I was curious to see what the Bulldogs were going to do with this head coaching opening. And I honestly think they knocked this decision out of the park. They brought in the Pirate. Mike Leach is the new head coach at Mississippi State. Here's a guy that almost took the Tennessee job the year before, or or two years before, uh, when Jeremy Pruitt was hired. He basically accepted it, but then the AD got fired. Um, We get to see Mike Leach in the SEC, and I am fascinated um, here's a guy that's gone to just the remote places. He's gone to Texas Tech, a program that has not had success on a regular basis or on a basis much at all. And he goes in, elevates them. They're winning eight, nine. They won 11 games one season. Hey, he had the whole drama with with Craig James, the son, and, and all that. He gets fired, goes on to Washington State, another program that has not had sustained success other than maybe a season's you know season or two here and there, and he goes on and he wins wins at a record level for those programs you know and last not this this season but the season before with Gardner Minshew you know won eleven games and he's doing this at in Pullman Washington in Lubbock Texas not places where you can get a lot of great talent. And so I think Mississippi State did a fantastic job of identifying Leach. Starkville, Mississippi is not, you know, a metropolis. It's not, it's kind of like Pullman and Texas and Lubbock. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. And Leach has shown that he can bring in talent. And Mississippi's got talent. Okay? They've got a good JUCO system there. They've got talent in the state. They're close, you know, right next to Louisiana. And, and, and the whole South has got talent. So he's able to now get those guys in and have that success. It's only a matter of time before he gets them built up. And I don't think they're going to be on the level of an Alabama or an LSU or even Auburn. But there's no reason that every so many years he's up there. He's shown that he can compete with the elite in his conference on, you know, every and every other year, you know, every couple year basis. Okay. Right? So I'm fascinated to see what Leach can do. I'm fascinated to see him go toe-to-toe with Nick Saban. I'm fascinated to see what he can do going toe-to-toe with LSU. And Mississippi State identified, you know, they 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 whiffed with Joe Moorhead. He wasn't a great fit. Leach, I think, is going to fit perfectly. He's a little bit crazy. He, uh, he And he loves those kind of outpost-type communities. And he's going to go in there. I think he's going to get a lot of talent. They're going to put up a ton of points. And I think everybody, us as the fans, are going to be the winners in this situation. So can't wait to see this. Can't wait to see him face off against uh, Lane Kiffin and Ole Miss in the, the Egg Bowl and the SEC West. It got a lot more interesting.